Hi everyone, so I know a lot of you hate videos that start with apologies about how people look um, and I totally get that but I just wanted to say that I'm aware my hair is not um, looking good today but I have been in a mad rush this morning and I've got an hour to get this video filmed and everything and I thought I would just do it anyway um, so I hope you don't mind but it is monthly favourites time um, this year is just it's going and I kind of don't want it to um, but I've got a weird kind of collection of products here as well one of them um, I haven't actually got to show you because I can't find it I think it's in a bag somewhere so I'm gonna just jump right in with um, the makeup bits that I've got to show you first and this is one of the products that kind of I ordered it with another one that I also wanted to put in my favourites but I can't find it um, and it is a little MAC order that I put through and I ordered this lipstick which is Faux by MAC and I also ordered the Alexander Steinher lipstick as well that's also a favourite but like I said I haven't got it to hand um, because I can't seem to find it but Faux looks like this it's kind of a mauve nude, not kind of anything revolutionary in terms of colour. I will swatch it here for you. Um, the formula of this is a satin and it is really, really lovely. It's very flattering. It's a little bit lighter on the lips than you would actually imagine it to be when you see it swatched. It's not that purpley almost. It's kind of um, a little bit more muted but a really lovely colour and you can kind of play around and wear it on top of other colours as well. Great recommendation from a Budget Beauty so um, I'm glad I picked that up but I also want to mention the Alexander one. Um, then I've got this which is I suppose a tool not a makeup item and it's really disgusting because it's still damp and I used it this morning but it's this sponge from Look Good Feel Better I think is the range um, I'm going to link it down below because it wasn't something I'd ever heard of before they sent me this and a couple of brushes to try and I've been using this loads and what's so cool about it is you can see it's flat on these sides so it's great for um, kind of blending in your foundation in these types of areas so in the centre of your face and then you can use the curved bit for kind of your chin and nose area works really really well I used it this morning with a bourgeois CC cream and I really really like it it's, it's a really good sponge nice for concealer under your eyes as well um, then for another makeup y bit I think I might have mentioned this before but I wanted to just give it another mention and it's the Ultra Contour Palette from Makeup Revolution now I kind of wish that you could play around with these types of palettes and make them your own because there's a lot of shades in here that I don't use but as you can see my most used shades the light's kind of not lending itself very well is it my most used shades are this yellow one which I use to set my under eye concealer with and then this shade here which is like a cool toned light um, bronze which I use to contour with so that's what I've got in my contour today and I really like this palette this highlighter is actually really nice as well don't know how well for some reason it's not picking up very well on camera that highlighter is really lovely too um, but I don't use that very often but beautiful shades great textures and I wish I could get a little kind of if I could think of a palette that these could fit in maybe I could get these two colors out and have them in a little palette that might work I know um what's that company that does the palettes now is it makeup obsession but my boots hasn't stocked those yet and I kind of wanted to look at them in person but that's a that's an interesting um concept so I have been using those pretty much every day I just I'm not friends with my hair today just not, it's not happening for me. Um, then this is relatively new, but I thought I wanted to mention it because I have really been impressed by it. And it's the Lottie London Ready Set Go Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. It is translucent, um, and it is very, very good at mattifying your skin if you have very oily skin. And I am definitely somebody who. I think my camera is about to die. Well, I'm about to run out of space, so let me go and sort that out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that rude interruption. Today's not going 
kind of with me so far. Um, but what was I talking about? The Lossy London Finishing Powder. Great powder because it is mattifying, but it doesn't look powdery. And I'm somebody who hates the look of powder. I really, really wish I didn't have to wear powder, but I do because my skin is very, very oily and this helps to control the oil. It's very, very finely milled, so you don't see it on the skin. And it's just a beautiful um, powder. I am very, very glad that I got sent this because I wouldn't have picked this up. It's just not a brand that I ever kind of particularly look at, but it works really, really well. So if you have oily skin as well, go out and get this because it's great. Um, then I've got another kind of drugstore item and I've actually been using this for a while and I keep forgetting to mention it and this is the Maybelline uh, Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I've got this in the shade Soft Brown and as you can see it's just a very very thin eyebrow pencil, spoolie on one end, pencil on the other and I um, really like the Sip and Glory pencil but I do find it's very dry and it um, snaps sometimes which I find annoying and it's more expensive it's about nine pounds this I think is around five or six pounds and it works brilliantly um, the color is a little bit darker as well which I actually don't mind um, and it's a very very thin pencil which is what I love about it I love a kind of thin brow pencil I'm not into the chunky ones at all and it's just a nice cool toned can you see that even no this light, it's just, I don't even know why I even bother. Um, it's just a nice cool tone brown, let's face it, you didn't really need to see a swatch of that anyway. And it has a spoolie on this side so you can brush your brows up. Works really, really well, I really like it. Um, I'm using the Lottie, Lon L Lottie London, what am I even doing? Um, I'm using the Lottie London one at the moment and I like that one as well. Um, then last makeup y thing, I think, yes, this is, is this mascara and it's DHC's Double Protection Mascara. And I'll tell you a funny story about this. Um, Emma Watson did a In the Bathroom with In the Gloss and um, she, Into the Gloss it is, isn't it? Um, she mentioned this mascara and she mentioned a couple of other products and she mentioned. <laughs> A body oil in that article that she said was really good for your pubic hair um, and I, I just found it very amusing that she was talking about that and I kind of thought like you know okay weird thing to bring up in an interview but whatever um, and then the next day after this interview launched my inbox was filled with um, PRs sending out um, information about try this product because Emma Watson says that it's amazing and this was one of them because of that article and it's a very very good mascara it's a tubing mascara as I think most of DHC's mascaras are and I'm kind of converted to tubing mascaras now because I have just found recently that whatever mascara I use it ends up smudging, it ends up down here, I end up getting kind of um, panda eyes and I just don't like it. This stays put beautifully, doesn't flake and just stays put till really late. Um, it's more of a natural look, it doesn't give you tons of drama but that's because um, tubing mascaras can't build the drama, they haven't kind of got wax in them or anything that you can build on really. But it does a decent job with my lashes and if you're a smudger but you have long eyelashes this will be all that you need. It's got a very very small brush which I like, it's nice on bottom lashes as well, it's just a teeny tiny little brush and it just works really nicely. Um, I know a lot of people like to put on a really dramatic mascara and then put something like this one over the top. I, I, I like that idea in theory but I find the removal annoying because I feel like cheating mascaras you can only remove with warm water so I have to remove those first and then go in with eye makeup remover to remove what's underneath and it doesn't work out quite as well for me so um, that's that but I really like this mascara and if you've got any drugstore recommendations for good tubing mascaras let me know because um, I am um, open to trying more. I have tried the L'Oreal one and while I like it, I don't like the primer side and without it, it's kind of not got enough drama. So make of that what you will. Um, and then last but not least, I, I haven't actually got tons of favourites this month. That's It's weird. I kind of, I don't know. 
I just haven't discovered many things this week. I've been trying a lot of things, but they're not quite favourite status yet. Um, but I really enjoyed this Radox Feel Lively Long Lasting Fragrance Shower Gel, and it's Wild Peony and Lychee. Um, I picked this up randomly, like I think in the supermarket or something, and I'm a bit of a snob with shower gels. I generally only like the Body Shop or Soap and Glory. I won't kind of use just a normal Radox shower gel because I just find them a bit meh. This smells really good. In fact, I've actually ordered from um, Superdrug because I did a Superdrug order the other day. I've actually ordered the other two scents that they do. It's very sweet, floral, smells really strong, um, doesn't feel like a cheap shower gel. Really nice, really impressed. I really like that. Um, and I think it's like £1.50, so it's cheap as well. So that is it. That's everything. Those are all of my monthly favourites. I think I've done this really quick. Haven't I? This has been really quick. Um, TV faves. I finished watching um, Big Little Lies this month. Loved it. Um, I love Reese Witherspoon in it. I love her character. I think she's great. Um, and it was just a very, very well made show. I really enjoyed that. I also watched Three Girls, um, which if you haven't heard of it, look it up. It's based on a true story, which is absolutely horrific. Um, and it is available on catch up that was where i watched it because i kind of never know when things are on on tv um and that was really really good really important viewing i think as well um and i went to see guardians of the galaxy this month which i really enjoyed um highly recommend that i think it was better than the first one and just a really feel good film um and that's everything i think i hope you'll have a great um month of june and i will see you all in